Detroit, Grand Rapids, Muskegon, Traverse City, Petoskey, Benton Harbor, Mount Pleasant, St. Joseph, and Fox 47 Television in the state capital of Lansing. Closer and closer now to the Olympic Games in London. And uh, Dave Beagle, you have the, uh, the Olympic theme yes, we'll what be I, hearing when we watch on NBC. What I'm playing here is Europe. It's a song called The Final Countdown, which I'm sure you've heard before. But I thought it was interesting that uh, it sounds a lot like the uh, London Olympics 2012 theme, oh. which is this. That's the same song. Pretty close. <laughs> Jazzed up, though. Everything old is new again, I guess. Now, of course, the state of Michigan, we've got a number of Olympians, but the one getting the most attention, Jordan Weber from DeWitt, Michigan. She uh, turned 17 very recently and uh, is on her way to London. And if you go to gymmom.net, gymmom.net, you'll be able to see the postings of Rita Weber, her mother, who's on the other end of our line right now. Congratulations. Thank you so much. It's uh, nice to talk to you again. I know we uh, we spoke. You were nice enough to drop by the house with uh, Jordan because uh, uh, you were on the track team with my wife, Christine Tenegli, at CMU, right? Yes, back in the day. How come the two of you aren't going to the Olympics? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> The truth of the matter is, uh, I, you know, we let's just speak from it this way. In order to be able to accomplish what Jordan has accomplished, uh, she has had, obviously, to make great sacrifices. And you, too, as a parent of somebody like this, has had to make great sacrifices, too. Speak to us in terms of a parent, because when you think about it, there are some of us who have trouble getting our kids even to get out of bed and go to school in the morning. You know what I mean? The, the, how did you, did you – is this uh, – a case of nurture or nature, or was it Jordan's own drive? What, what? How did it all happen? This was all Jordan. I mean, we we did put her in gymnastics. She didn't come to us at age four and say, "I want to do gymnastics." We didn't really know what it was, but we just put her in there. Like you know, you, you want to expose your kids to all kinds of different things, so we tried that, and she never looked back. She's never wanted to quit. She's loved it ever since then. So I guess we were lucky that we found her thing. <laughs> I suppose at some stage you both had to sort of encourage each other, though, because, I mean, in order to do this, it's hours. And, I mean, it's a, it's a true lifetime commitment. Yeah. Well, there were definitely, you know, it, it wasn't all happy, happy the whole time. I mean, it, it's just it's a lot of years, a lot of hours, a lot of um, routine. And, then, you know, so I, every now and then, you know, we would have our ups and downs, but um, that's just normal. It's normal with anything. I would imagine it's an expensive prospect, too. Have you ever sat down and added up the, the cost? No, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is expensive. But, um, you know, it's all worth it. You just do what you need to do for your kids. So. Yeah. that's a... Now, when you, uh, when you are watching these competitions, uh, are you uh, pacing? Are you wringing your hands? Are you... you must be very nervous. Yeah, I'm kind of a nervous wreck. I, I just walk all around, and I've got all these charms I hold in my hand for good luck, and I pray, and oh, I can't sit still. I never do. And then my husband just sits there in our assigned seat, and he's calm. And I'm sure he's nervous on the inside, but he appears calm from the outside, so yeah. he's a little bit more normal looking. What are some of the charms you'll be holding when we see? Because very often they'll cut to a shot of the parents uh, during uh, these telecasts, and so when we're watching you from London, what will you be clutching in your hand? Yeah. Oh, my gosh, it's gotten... it's getting more and more. I have a rosary that someone gave me that was blessed by the Pope. I have that. And I have um, a couple of crucifixes, and I have a, a rosary ring thing. Yeah, and yeah. It's mostly religious stuff. So Jordan has gone on to, as, as I understand it, Huntsville, Texas, for training that's the last stop before London? Yeah, she's at the ranch where the U.S. team trains there, you know, pretty much once every month. Um, through, she's been going there since she was 10, so it's kind of like her second home. But they're all there together for a week before they go to London. I wonder, Michael Patrick, does she have a coach that uh, she's stuck with since, uh, I mean, for a very long time? Is there yeah. somebody that she, that's, that's been coaching her? Coach is from Diamonddale, isn't he? Yeah, her coach is John Getter um, and his wife, Catherine, too. But you can only really have one coach with you, you know, when you're traveling and so on. So it's always been... Yeah, she's been with him since day one. And he wasn't her coach when she was four, but once she got to the higher levels of um, the J.O. program, he started coaching her probably when she was like eight years old. Um, what are some of the, are there any sort of surprising logistical challenges when it comes to going to London? It's going to be quite a scene there, we understand. I mean, how 
How are you? How do you work that all out? She stays in the Olympic Village, right? Uh, and then you stay at a hotel somewhere. Well, we actually are staying. We rented a house. Mm -hmm. You know, so many people are renting their houses out, and so we rented a house because that way we would have a kitchen and we could just buy groceries and not have to eat out every single time yeah. for such a long time. So our house is in Greenwich, which is um, really close to where the gymnastics venue is. Um, it's small. It's, I'm, I'm actually I'm kind of nervous because it's 900 square feet and there's six of us. Yeah. <laughs> there's only one bathroom and there's no like, shower head. You know, they just they just want to make any guess. Yeah. Um, really interesting, but um, you, know, you know, you have to organize your own trip just like anybody else. So we've been making plans along the way and, and just like buying insurance for everything just in case. Yeah. Have you ever been to London? I actually have been to London with my um, daughter, Lindsay. We got to go for a week about 10 years ago to visit a friend that was staying there. Is uh, Jordan a cool customer? In, in other words, in the moments leading up to uh, the competition, what's she like? Well, I mean, I just see her from, you know, the perspective of every other spectator because I don't ever, I'm never with her because yeah. I'm not always with the team. But, um, you know, she tells everybody that she she gets in her zone and does her visualization and just tries to go through her routines in her head and, and then, um, you know, just pretend like it's any other meet or any practice. She's very quiet. I mean, you brought her into the television show with me one time as well, and uh, she's very seems very focused, very quiet, very serious sort of girl. Yeah, she's pretty intense. I mean, she's definitely a lot more comfortable with media now, after, you know, since she's had so much exposure over the last couple of years and she's kind of coming into her own a little bit she did just turn 17 yesterday so i think you know she'll probably be, be less and less shy i think as she gets older but she's always been really intense and, and definitely on the quieter side uh, did she get media training or anything like that no nothing officially oh. i mean i know that her, she just signed with an agent and they said that they could help her with anything that she needs if she, you know if she's in a situation where she's uncomfortable they can you know go through like help her develop a message or and all that but she hasn't done that yet can you even allow yourself to imagine what that's going to be like if she wins the gold medal standing on that podium mm -hmm. when the national anthem is played and i mean can you even let yourself think like that without getting so no. excited I mean, it's... well i don't i don't think like that at all because i i just i never have i i, I just feel grateful for where she's yeah. at and I'm, I'm going to be proud of her no matter what happens in London. And um, I never think <laughs> beyond that. <laughs> well, we'll be uh, following at jimmom.net where you'll be blogging your experiences. I know you talked about doing a book at some stage. And uh, believe me, the state of Michigan and the United okay. States has our fingers crossed for you and your daughter. And right here in DeWitt, Michigan, all the best Thank to you. you. Travel safely. Thank you very much. That's Rita Weber going to London for the Olympics with her daughter Jordan and uh, I, don't, I can visualize it I think it'll be fantastic and I think the worst the, the worst part would be visualizing if she doesn't win can't do that mm -hmm. gotta stay positive she's gonna be up at the, the highest spot on that podium in London with the gold medal Jordan you can Weaver. do it it's Michael Patrick Shields all across Michigan the sun's zooming in meltdown expected the wheat is good